at home, a group of mayors from all over the state gathering in Indianapolis to call for more action at the local and state levels to help the environment. Indiana State House Bureau Chief Eric Feldman explains what they're looking for. Eric. Well, Phil, they want more money from the state to help convince businesses and communities to embrace renewable energy, which can be quite expensive. A room at the Garfield Parks Art Center packed with city and state leaders to talk about the environment. A lot of people concerned from the private sector and from the government sector as far as what type of world we're going to pass on to the next generation. Mayors and community activists sharing what's worked and what hasn't to improve the environment. I think the mayors can inspire each other and the communities can inspire mayors. The second annual Climate Leadership Summit in Indianapolis brought out politicians from both parties. For Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry, a Democrat, says a lot of local governments are taking steps forward. We've done LED lighting conversion, so all of our traffic lights are now LED. But he says the state needs to offer more financial incentives to businesses and local governments. Installing solar panels, for example, can cost tens of thousands of dollars. Right now, it's all at all rest on access to capital. If we don't have the money to do the conversions necessary, then we're not going to be able to do them. While environmental activists say the price for solar is falling, they say a new state law that takes effect in January will hurt further solar energy growth. What's changing is that you move from a situation that when you install solar, you benefit from solar for 30 years in terms of your net metering benefit. But then after December 31st, 2017, it goes from 30 years to 15 years. So I asked the Hoosier Environmental Council Executive Director, who you just heard from, what his message is to communities in southern Indiana where there are a lot of jobs from coal plants. He says renewable energies can create jobs as well and encourages those communities to be ahead of the curve. I'm Eric Feldman, 24-Hour News 8.